Hello everyone. So it's Rotractor Nyonta Mazabin, Charter President, Rotract Club of Dhaka Dynamic. And uh, today is the second ev episode of uh, Rotract World with Ruhan. But uh, the Ruhan is missing today. I know you guys will miss him. Uh, the thing is, he is uh, stuck with some st uh, some shoes uh, in his personal life. So I'm like I'm saying you. A thousand apologies from him side his side and uh, yeah let's move on to the uh, to to the today's program and today actually it's a great opportunity to uh, for us and for also you guys also because uh, uh, today we have uh, a really special guest from all the way to from Nepal and uh, this RIT three to nine two and we today we have rotary uh, from uh, sergeant the sergeant at arms from rotary club of uh Co Kopundol, and he is also uh, the program chair of nano kapada Abhiyan. Uh, let's welcome rotary actor samir adhikari hello samir. hello hi hi Nyonta. hi so, thank you how, so much. Thank you so much for the introduction. That was so generous of you. So, how are you? Yeah, we all are really good, and uh, have like uh, having a guest like you is uh, really a, a great opportunity for us. Thank you so much for coming. It's an honor. It's an honor. Uh, so, uh, so Rotractor Samir, uh, you were from Rotary Club of Kapundal, one of the uh, one of the most uh, hearing club uh, uh, from Nepal. So, uh, till uh, like we are from Bangladesh, from Rotary Club of Dhaka Dynamic, as you know, uh, Dhaka is the capital of Bangladesh. So, uh, let's let's uh, we are like we can't wait for uh, have the introduction of your club. So before moving towards the introduction of my club, let me introduce you to myself. So hello yes, and namaskar, everybody. It's me, Rotaractor Samir Adhikari, all the way from Nepal, Kathmandu. So I'm the current Sergeant at Arms at uh, RSC Kapundol. Uh, I am an MBA person at School of Management Driven University, and I'm the immediate past president of School of Management U Entrepreneurship Club. So talking about myself, uh, I'm quite a business person and, and quite a social activist. And today I'm here to represent uh, one of the campaign that we have been doing uh, from the previous year. It's all about Nano Kapada Vian. It's, it's Warm Plots um, campaign. So talking about RSC Kopundol, RSC Kopundol uh, is Ko basically Kopundol uh, is a part of Kathmandu Valley. So Kathmandu has three parts. Uh, Kathmandu Valley has three parts. It's uh, Kathmandu, Bhaktapur, and Lalitpur. So Kopundol, it lies in Lalitpur district. And uh, RSC Kopundol was chartered in 2007, April the 13th. All right. So it's been quite a journey uh, in RSC Kopundol. I have been indirectly uh, um, involved with RSC Kopundol for past five to six years. And I have been actively working with the club for around three years now. Uh, pre uh, prior this year, I was the professional development director at the club. And uh, this year, uh, the disciplinary acts of the club are on my hand. So I'm the current sergeant at arms. And talking about RSC Kopundol, uh, RSC Kopundol is quite famous in Nepal or Kathmandu for, for two factors. Number one, that's fun. When you say Rotract Love of Kopundol, it directly associates with fun. So every, each and every member who are here in the club, uh, they are fun loving and, and, and all of them, they enjoy themselves. Uh, they come to the club, they come to the club meetings, they, they uh, enjoy the uh, events that we organize. They even, even encourage us to enhance uh, our, our potential and, and everything that, that happens uh, through the community service avenues, through the professional service avenues or the club service avenues, everything is associated 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 with fun. So yeah, the track love of Kapundol is directly linked with fun. And the second thing is it's about leadership. So uh, every professional uh, events, uh, Every events that comes under professional avenue or every events that we have done through community service avenue or club service avenue, uh, those have been associated with leadership. 
and it has been our continuous um, thing that we have been thinking from day one that was about leadership, that was enhancing leadership. So Arishi Kopondol has always been there for uh, those Rotaractors who are there for fun and who are there to uh, enhance their leadership skills. So yeah, that is all about Arishi Kopondol. Uh, thank you. Over to you, Nyonza. Uh, thank you so much for uh, the introduction and uh, yeah, that's that's really great to know uh, uh, a, a club from Nepal and uh, like uh, the, the, the agenda of our program uh, was uh, knowing uh, other districts clubs and uh, the their their things and how they do road tracking and how the how, how are their programs and all so uh, they, it it is it was really helpful and uh, moving forward to uh, the second uh, second agenda of this program is uh, you uh, i i heard that you were uh, having a campaign in your club uh, which is Nano Kapada Avian, and uh, I found that really interesting. And would you like to share this uh, this uh, campaign's uh, theme and the pro uh, program's design for, for to our audience? I would love to. I would love to do that. So first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Rotaract Club of Dhaka Dynamic for this opportunity, and then it, it has been an honor to be connected with you and all the audiences and all the viewers that we have today. So I'm here to talk about one of the major uh, campaign that we have started from year 2020, and it's Nano Kapada Avian. And I would like to request the technical team to to uh, share the slide. Or, or share the photos that I provided with you. So till there. So uh, could you please share it? Uh, could you please share the slide? Uh, that's the video. Nano Kapada Vian, yeah, the slide. Perfect. This Thank you. Really, really cool. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm overwhelmed. Thank you to the technical team. And so, yeah, everybody, Nano Kapada Vian, I've already told you guys, Nano means warm. Kapada means cloth and Avian, it means campaign. So warm cloth campaign, it started in 2020 and uh, it was our aim to uh, donate warm niche and share happiness through uh, through this campaign. And it uh, we targeted the, uh, the needy people from different segments of Nepal, uh, from the hillside, from the mountains, from Tarai. And uh, uh, this campaign was uh, basically designed to share warmness in the winter and uh everyone who was there who was our major donor at that time uh they became a part of flow donation and that and that was one way for us to spread affection all right and if i had to tell you uh prior this year uh we were able to collect around 1500 pairs of cloths within a month and those 1500 pairs of cloths wow. uh can you please can you please uh, move to the next slide yeah all those 1500 pairs of cloths were collected and they were shorted, all right? They were collected and, and uh, we requested our donors to make sure that they don't provide us with torn cloths. And at least, and if it was possible, I requ we requested them to provide us with washed cloths, all right? So we collected those and uh, we were, and we made sure that each and every cloth that we had were not torn and they were washed. All right, so we collected them and then we shorted them, uh, shorted in, in such a manner that ladies' ways, they were segmented in one part, men's way, they were segmented in another part, and kids' way, they were segmented in another part, all right? So that way we were being efficient and we, we were being efficient. And uh, all of that, that was done so that uh, it would be easier when, uh, when, we were, when we would donate or when we would when we would distribute those cloths, right? So 
after collection, we sorted them. Our uh, energetic team, uh, retractors from RSC Kapondol, they were there day and night sorting the cloths. 15, come on, guys, 1,500 pairs of cloths. It took us quite a while to sort them all. But thank you to every retractor who was uh, present there uh, while collecting and while sorting. And not only that, uh, after the sorting, uh, we packaged them uh, and then uh, we dispatched them uh, via the vehicles to different part of the country. And uh, prior this year, we went to one of the district that's Bhading of, Katma, of, of Nepal. And we went to a village that was uh, Bushbang village, all right? And, and there resided around 50 families. And let me uh, guide you to a scenario. From Kathmandu to Dhading, the road is blacked out. We can go there easily. From Dhading to Bushbang, we had to, the, the trail is off-road. And there is a part where from that part, no vehicle will go upwards. Okay. Uh -huh. So at that part, uh, there, there resided around 50 families. So an underdeveloped mm -hmm. part of Nepal where 50 families lived were facing some problem because of the winter. And believe me, guys, people die because of cold. Yes, they do. And we retractors uh, with the team, uh, with the mayor of that area, of, of Tading area, of that village, uh, we were able to collaborate and provide those families, 50 families with warm cloths previously, previous year. And apart from that, we were able to provide cloths to donate cloths to a lot of part of Nepal as well, because we had a few, quite a few uh, collection at that time. So can we move to the next slide, please? So Nano Kapda, I talked about Nano Kapda VN 2077, that is 2020, all right? That was 2020. Now it's 2021, guys. So uh, this time we were provided with a lead from Rotarian Shakar Kudasaini, who connected with us with a non-profit organization called Oda Foundation. All right. And with that lead, we came to know that similar situation lied for the people in Mahawai village, Kalikot. So from Kathmandu to Mahawai, that is quite a lot okay. of distance. Uh, we have to go to Surkhet, that is around 600 kilometers from Kathmandu. And from that part, we have to make sure that we ride on a four-wheeler for around nine to ten hours to reach a point. And from that point, we have to walk for around two and a half hours to reach the people who resided in Mahawai village. So we have to, uh, so we have to make sure that we cover quite a good um, road coverage for that. And when we're talking about that, uh, in that part of Nepal, uh, around 77, 75 households lie. And in, in that 75 household, we collected the data and we came to know that there were around 800 kids and 600 adults. And recently in Nepal, due to the extreme conditions, uh, because of the heavy rainfall, uh, we came to know that uh, in the hillside, there were a lot of landslides. Can we move to the next slide, please? And due to those landslides, a lot of the road condition as poor. The houses, the houses, the homes, uh, they were in terrible condition. And those people, those 75 households, they were in big trouble. And at that time, Oda Foundation, they decided to help them out. And they are taking care of those 75 households, those six, those 1,400 people. And, and, and uh, Rotarian Sakar uh, Pudashaini connected us with that foundation. And, and we were here, we are here working out uh, to get the donations. We are here working out to collect the foods. We are here uh, coordinating to get the uh, cloths and blankets and all. So uh, all of this we're uh, we are trying to do is we're trying to raise some funds so that the people in Kalikot, in Mahawai uh, village, will receive some uh, good uh, quality uh basic needs they will pro at least they will be provided with the basic that's a uh, cloth food and shelter so Maha uh, in mahavai village Ola foundation is taking care of those 1400 people and uh, they are taking care of shelter and food now comes cloths so in that case the track club of kopundol took the initiative and me being the chair of this program 
uh, we try to get uh, we try we we were enhanced we were encouraged to to uh, get this program get the phase two of nano kapra beyond and uh, in this time we have collected can we move to the next slide please uh, we have collected because of the donors i really appreciate the force of the donors uh, from all part of Kathmandu. Uh, we have received around uh, 40 to 45 sacks of cloths that's that's quite a few uh, number and they are being collected they are being shorted and they are being dispatched really soon and uh, before the Deepawali, it will be uh, it will be dispatched uh, for the people in uh, Kalikot. So, uh, to give you uh, to give you a better view of uh, how the things are in Kalikot, I would like to request our technical team to uh, play the video if it's pos possible. In this video, you can clearly see how how bad the conditions are in uh, in Kalikot because of the heavy rainfall. Uh, every part of the hill, uh, every part of it, uh, it had major landslides. So, and the people in that community they are facing real troubles regarding the basic needs. Can we uh, show the next video, please? Yes. So these are the kids in that village. This is a short clip of them. You can see the condition, the people over there. Uh, those are the volunteers from Oda Foundation. And yes, people are facing real troubles in case of uh, food and shelter and cloths. So yeah, thank you so much, technical team, for, for sharing the uh, video and slides. So Nyonta, as I was telling, uh, so Nyano Kapra Avian 2021, uh, it has been an initiative from Rotary Club of Kopundo. And I being the chair of this program, I would like to say that uh, this year we are planning to uh, take our campaign to a next level. Uh, in phase one in 2020, we set a benchmark. And now we're, what, it's all about uplifting and it's all about setting up new goals, right? So this year we're planning to reach high, uh, higher number of audiences, higher number of people who are in need of uh, warm cloths and blankets and all. And we're trying to uh, raise more awareness for the people who are there. And uh, in today's situation, it has been just one week. In one week, I was able to coordinate and collect around 40 sacks of cloths. So it wasn't possible. It, would ha it wouldn't have been possible without the continuous support of uh, the retractors from Rotract Club of Kapandol and the major donors of Kathmandu, Kathmandu Valley. And I would like to uh, take a moment and thank everyone for that, uh, first of all. And and now what we're trying to do is uh, for the second phase, uh, this winter, we're trying to uh, gather uh, more manpower, gather more funds, raise more funds, and then and then collect more cloths and distribute to different parts of Nepal who are, who are in utter need of warm cloths and such relief. Uh, so yeah, that's it. So Nano Kapravian, it's about sharing the warmness to those who are in need of warmness. And it's about sharing, spreading love as well. So yeah, thank you so much, Nyonta. I think I covered the most part of it. Thank you. Yeah, that that was really, uh, really an uh, inspiring story. What uh, you were saying, it, it uh, I can uh, like I can have the vibes that you you had a uh, uh, peace of mind uh from this program because whenever you uh, donate or you gift uh, um something to a uh, to a person who is in need of something so that thing uh you can you have the peace you can give the peace in mind uh, with the smile of the person you know so uh, this, this is this is really great to know man and uh I hope I'm audible. Yes, you are. You're loud and clear. Okay, great. Uh, and after that, 
Uh, yeah. yeah. So I am. I, I was uh, talking about the peace of mind, and uh, from this uh, this this issue, uh, I I go to. I I am thinking about uh, asking you how the, how have uh, you got the dream of the program? What is the behind story? I I. All right. So. Really yeah that's an interesting question that that's a very interesting question thank you so much so much for raising that Nianta. and and um so let me uh provide you with the background but director samira dekari is an aspiring entrepreneur and there is a social activist in me and all i'm trying to do in today's uh, day is i'm trying to uh, blend these two part of me and get my get myself a proper blend so that i'll, I'll get to uh serve to uh, to the people that i met and 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 I'll, I'll make sure that i serve the plane and everybody will be happy about it so yeah there's an aspiring entrepreneur in me and there is a social activist in me so i'm i'm always continuously thinking about social activity i'm all always excited about entrepreneurial stuff and all and 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 when uh, i got to know about the conditions uh, of a different part of nepal uh, that happened uh, after the earthquake, major earthquake in Nepal, and and uh, because of uh, the uh, natural calamities, different natural calamities, and the winter in itself, uh, it's a major challenge in Nepal. And there are many parts of Nepal where uh, the uh, environment, the climate conditions, they, they become just worse when it when it's winter. And uh, I even collected a few data, and I I got to know that people literally die because of cold. And when I got to know that, uh, when I got to know that, I, I was completely, I was completely torn apart. And and uh, with that note, uh, I just I just went to my room. I just uh, saw my room, and I just I could see that there were tons and tons of clothes. There were a lot of pairs, and and there are there are literally a lot of people in different parts of uh, the country uh, who are uh, not in a situation where where they can afford a single pair of cloth, and they are dying because of um the cold right so in that case uh me being the initiator and my uh, my fellow coordinator being the initiator it was retractor uh, prashida sapkota uh who was there and i would like to acknowledge uh the the leadership of retractor nishan shiva who was the president at that time uh we gathered around we talked about it like i just i sh uh, we just initiated the idea like uh there are we just uh, we're just brainstorming and we were just uh, collecting data and we came to know that there are people uh, literally dying because of cold and we have extra pairs of gloves. We all have extra pairs of gloves. So why shouldn't we donate it? Why shouldn't we uh, raise awareness about it? And why shouldn't we collect more youths and talk about warmness? So um, the background story of Nano Kapla of Yan was uh, started like that. So it started with an individual and and, and uh, it, it expanded to uh, tens of retractors and uh, it, it expanded to hundreds of donors and that led us to 1500 pairs of cloths in one month of time so uh that is it i think i, I covered uh, the most part of it uh, that is how uh, we initiated nano Kapla Avian, uh in 2020 i'm talking about 2021 uh, we got our lead uh from our rotarian uh, sir and uh talking about the conditions in kali court and different part of Nepal, it's, it's getting worse. Uh, and it was because of the heavy rainfall uh, priorly and the winter is coming. So we have to make sure that we start early this time. And um, uh, that, that's, that's the main part. So the dream is to provide warmness when we can. It starts with one person, it will influence others and, and, and uh, the people who are in uh, need of warmness and warm thoughts will receive it. So that's the major, major dream. Thank you. Okay. Uh, that that was really good to know. And uh, yeah, that uh, I I found that um, whenever we do a project, we usually like uh, we need to have a dream. Yeah, obviously we need to have a dream. But uh, there are some projects who uh, which we uh dream like um 
we want to uh, execute the executing is our dream when uh, whenever we uh, some find something close to our heart and uh, we want to really execute this and uh, the, uh, this program i found this program is really close to your heart and uh, like you personally realized that uh, this program was a needed thing so uh, yeah that that was really great to know and uh, after uh, here so we can we are having a lots of comments you know uh, so uh, let's let's read some of them at least uh, the uh, viewers have the right to read their comments so uh, we let's let's go for these some of the comments sure so, sure sure so md uh, rachel said she he is here with us and sending emojis and uh, road director Dina Khan, he is, uh, she is a member of our club, and uh, she is saying that hello. And Hi, uh, Dina. Also send, uh, and also send us uh, assalamu alaikum to all. It's a greeting uh, term, you know. Uh, for uh, wa alaikum for assalam, wa alaikum assalam, yeah. Dina. <laughs> great, one, great one, and uh, yeah. So after that, uh, we have Aninta Akhtar, and he she is also saying us hello, everyone. And uh, we have uh, our director Aryan Thakur, and saying us hello. And uh, after that, uh, we also like Dina is really uh, today. She is really active. I can see, uh, and she is uh, saying comments and all. And after that, uh, we we have uh, road tractor Movin Shubro. He is also our uh, sergeant at arms of our club. <laughs> so meet uh, the sergeant to sergeant. <laughs> Movin, please don't change my gender, man. <laughs> I'm Samir. I'm a man. <laughs> it's not Samira. <laughs> uh, that's that's not good, man. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> That is it's completely okay, thank, thank you so much <laughs> then, then other uh, other thing uh rotractor arian he, uh, he has commented your club name thank Yay, you so much. rocks thank you arian yeah and uh, rotractor uh nabil muntasir he have uh said the emoji of fire like we are uh we are rocking as fire. <laughs> thank you okay. nabil so after that, road director uh, Aryan Thakur, he is really too active today and uh, uh -huh. like uh, saying uh, hashtag Rotarek rocks and Rotarek uh, hashtag Nano Kapadavian. Yay, and, Nano Kapadavian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and after that, road director Swamnath uh, Silpakar. Susan Silpakar. Actually, actually, he is yeah. the <laughs> community service director of uh, Rotarek Club of Kapundol. He is a great guy. Uh, hello, Shomnas. Uh, like Susan, Susan, uh, Shomnas. Susan. Okay, Susan, Susan. Susan. Hello, oh, yeah. Susan. So nice to nice to know uh, know about you. And uh, after that, uh, road director Mobin Shubro he has commented best of luck to us. And then road director Mahisha Puno, he is the charter secretary of our club and as Indigas uh, love emojis. Thank you so much. And after that, uh, road tractor Arafat Hassan, see, uh, he is also a road tractor from our club and uh, said proud to be a road tractor. Uh, hey, he, he commented, yeah, he commented this comment. Or uh, meanwhile, you were uh, uh, showing the slides, so uh, he is really inspired from your uh, program. I I must say. Means a lot. Means a lot, brother. <laughs> It's a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, this is the beauty of our uh, of road tracking, man. Completely concur on that. Yeah. So after that, road tractor Mobin Shubro, he has uh, said, "Let's share warmness this winter." Yeah, that's sure, the plan. We will. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. And in in uh, in our district, one day I hope we our club also will inspire from this uh, this program, obviously. And uh, let's hope for the best. Let's uh, let's hope. Uh, let's plan something uh, like this in our club with a, co a collaboration with your club. We can 100%. do anything. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, and after that, uh, we are having a lot of comments. 
so if i read this comment one by one then uh, today we are not going to have for any other uh, any other talks i can say so let's move forward i i i should say let's move forward with this is the last comment uh sending send it by our uh our community service director or director shoai vidne hafiz and uh he sent it love to us <laughs> thank you so much and after that uh let's forward to the next uh next things that i wanted to know uh the thing is like um uh, i'm talking about the nano kapata avian uh, you talked about uh, the experience and uh, the things uh, we were gone through from this program so i i would really want to say uh, like there in a program we create many a uh, lots of uh memories bad memories and good memories and uh some memories that we want to cherish in our life so i just wanted want to ask you like what is the best moment of your uh program or, or from this uh program nano kapata avian program wow 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 now now that's 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 uh, that's the question that will touch my heart like uh there are some things uh that we do in our life and we get monetary benefits from it uh there are some things that we do uh in our life so that uh we will spread some happiness in life right and there are certain activities that we have to encourage doing so that we will get blessings in our life because trust me everyone in this world the best part about uh, getting is you have to get blessings and just believe me when you spread warmness when you when you provide clothes to the needy when you provide the basic needs to the needy then then those blessings that they will send to you yeah what uh, what goes around it comes around right so whatever you send through uh, be it clothes be it food be be it any fund or be it anything uh, if you if you provide that with a uh, good heart then it will come back to you in the form of blessing and that blessings those blessings they will uplift you they will influence you in a positive way and they will keep reminding you that you are doing good in life and that kind of positive energy energy is very very needed in life and at the end of the day it's all about you and you have to make sure that your core is 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 full of energy and and the source of energy uh, must be um, positive things good things the social activities that you do the the skills that you enhance uh the the leadership qualities the the perception and everything so 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 uh nano kapra avian uh, has been one of that source uh, through which i got a lot of blessings and and it has been uh in my core providing me with energy uh, pro providing me with all the resources that i need to uh cherish and i have to uh, and and uh, it has been uh one of the greatest uh thing in my life uh, which have created a good impact so uh, if i have to say it in a one liner then nano kapra avian uh, has been one of that campaign through which i received a lot of blessings and through that through those blessings uh with god's grace uh, i am in a position where i can raise my head and tell everybody that in front of you it's rotaractor samir adhikari guys thank you so much are uh, you are you're on mute nianta nianta you are on mute uh, ah. thank you so much for sharing man actually uh, after your words like our um, i don't know about the audience but uh, my uh, heart is really uh, full with uh, like uh, a great a great feelings you know uh like i am i am in a, a movement where we i also can uh, get uh, blessings from other people and uh, the how, uh, how this is a really beautiful movement the rotrek to world is a really beautiful word uh, i must say and uh, yeah having the blessings from the people is uh, something uh, hits you differently you know uh so um yeah if you own mind can i uh, can i like um, notice you i i should notice you i guess like your uh, camera is uh, cracking i i am uh, like you are having still uh, vision you know 
still images. Um, can you hear me, Rotorator Samir? I, you, you're loud and clear. Is my yeah. Uh, so is you, my video there? Yeah, uh -huh. your your uh, video is not moving. You know, it is um, uh, it looks like an image. It is still really. I'm the, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Hi, yeah. hi, 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 hi. Is my hand? Are my hands moving? <laughs> uh uh let me uh let me uh could you i i guess uh turning off your camera and then turn on it would would, would work am i visible yeah you are visible but uh it, it's looking like an image uh it is not moving you know i don't know why really? maybe uh really? maybe this is a lack of the internet issue i don't i i am I'm not uh, aware of it. Uh, so let's move forward. That's, that's, I, I don't think that's, uh, that's uh, an issue, I, I hope. Um, let's, let's have some comments, you know? Yeah, Am I now, visible you now? Were, you were, yeah now you were uh, moving. <laughs> OK. I just reduced the uh, resolution of the camera. So I'm on my laptop. So okay. I think I, it was because of the technical Maybe stuff, it, I guess. So if. If I'm yeah. moving now, yeah, you are moving. I, I, I can show uh, you yeah. my dance moves. <laughs> so okay, let's move. Oh my on. God, move, uh, move that's, that's rocking. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, the, uh, like we're talking uh, from uh, a, a big span of uh, lands. Uh, be like we, I am in Bangladesh and you are in Nepal, so it it can happen. Uh, the technical issues can happen, uh, and uh, have, like. Uh, yeah, so we are having like we are having vast of comments, uh, and uh, this is so great to uh, have these uh, people with us. And after uh, after this, uh, like you were you were saying the best moments. And uh, let let me ask you a con. Uh, uh, I can say a contradictory uh, question that what is the worst moment of this program no. <laughs> no. <laughs> worst moment <laughs> okay yep. so everybody everybody just listen there is a thin line between life in between life and death okay you never know when you when you will die right <laughs> all right so my fellow rotaractors who went to volunteer in the community Okay, uh, mm -hmm. prior this year in Bushbang Dhading, they were in a, in a situation mm -hmm. where they had literally died. So, oh the, my god, yeah, the road, the road conditions they were worst. Okay, uh, they had to take a four wheeler, uh, to the community, and 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 on, on one part there's a hill, and the other part there's nothing. <laughs> oh my so, so, goodness! Yeah. So, so <laughs> one. So, I if the driver just one simple mistake on the steering wheel, and man, you are downwards. You are gone. You are finished, right? No, so, so, okay. uh, so at at that moment, uh, my my uh, fellow road directors who went uh, to the community uh, and uh, they took the initiative to go there to meet the people and to greet the needy and and provide them with the warmness by their or by their own, by themselves. So a big round of applause to them as well. So they were, uh, if I remember them. Uh, Rotractor, Kusum Baudel, Rotractor, Prasid the Sharp Kota, Rotractor, Nishan Shiva, they went there. They risked their life. They risked their life to reach there. You can just imagine uh, the road condition that's terrible. But you have to take a four wheeler to reach the community. And, and, and on the way, uh, they just explained that uh, there was a situation where they nearly lost their life. So it was quite, uh, quite the worst, worst. Uh, moment at that time, but uh, but uh, at the end we all laughed on it. We we, we all laugh on it right now because uh, that that part was also uh, joyful. <laughs> that that yeah. that was yeah. adventure. That was quite adventure, right? Um, so yeah. that was quite that was quite so risk factor. Being a retractor, we might have to face some risk, uh, health risk or 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 life risks at some moments. But it's all about being conscious, and it's all about uh, being adventurous, and it's all about uh, handling the situation or uh, situation right. Uh, so yeah, I think that might be the worst situation <laughs> about <laughs> the event. 
yeah i can uh, like i i can't even imagine like you guys are you guys take the life risk for this program so uh, yeah that that is uh, like that is a really uh, really great to hear but uh, this is really um, hard to imagine i i can say <laughs> but the but the satisfaction but the satisfaction after meeting the people the road conditions they are uh, they might be terrible all right but but the after result but after reaching the point after reaching the community and meeting the people and and uh, spreading the love and uh, and distributing the plots uh those rotaractors the volunteers who went there they came back with thousand times the energy that they had before so it's nice. it said that it it said that uh, the rough trails they often lead to a very beautiful destination right and 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 it happened like that uh, mm. uh there were some there were some risk factors in in it but uh, after they uh, arrived to Kathmandu they shared the experience and they were all there with that that energy those blessings man that that was incredible so uh it it had a positive aspect of that as well <laughs> okay uh so yeah that's that's really really a great thing and uh moving forward to the i i guess i should read the comments some of the comments because uh everybody is really excited to talk with you i guess that's why they're commenting and uh road director moving subro uh, he's our club as i said he's a he's our uh clubs sergeant at arms so uh the same post you were you are in in your club uh so he asked that uh, tell us about some places in nepal like he wants to know some places from nepal which we all right so to. okay so if you are planning to come to nepal uh then you must put pokhara in your list you must put kathmandu in your list and if you're that kind of person who really loves to enjoy or or, or go to the hills or mountains then you are warmly welcome because nepal is 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 rich in that part uh among the 14 uh, if i'm not wrong among the 14 uh peaks of the world that that um uh, that measures above 8000 eight of them they lie in nepal Mm. All right, so so That's the highest peak, the highest highest peak, Mount Everest is here. If you if you're thinking about yeah. uh, if you're thinking about trekking, if you're thinking about mountaineering, please come come to Nepal. And and apart from that, uh, Nepal is very very rich in cultural aspect. Uh, there are lots of lots of communities like there are uh, Tarai Tarai in Tarai region. There are people who share uh, different authenticity. There are people in in the hilly region uh, with different uh, culture. And then there are uh, the people in mountains who have we have their own way of living. And and uh, you can come to Nepal uh, to pick your destinations. And if I have to provide you with some names, Pokhara and Kathmandu, uh, come here and then you can explore more. Uh, great, great. And uh, Kathmandu yeah, is the I, capital I, of I, Nepal. Okay, Kathmandu. Is yeah, the I know Nepal. that. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> so uh that, like i am i was reading the comments and uh, most there are some people who are more interested in nepal than i i guess than uh, he, uh than this live show even <laughs> they're more interested in nepal so if they're commenting about nepal like uh this comment like sahil amzat he have uh, written that uh, we want to know more about the beauty of Nepal. <laughs> so they are they are more interested in Nepal, I guess. Hi Shahil. Uh, Hi Shahil. Thank you. Thank you so much for the question. So so it yeah. said that the beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder, right? Yeah. So so when when I'm here, I like I've seen a lots of part of Nepal. I've been I've, I've went for trekking. I've been to different uh, uh, historical monuments. I've been to different temples, right? So Pashupatinath, if you're uh, quite well aware about that, Pashupatinath is here. Uh, Swaymunath is here, and 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 if you if you are a person who believes in religion, Nepal is filled with it. All right, and mm -hmm. if you're that kind of person, that kind of person who enjoys adventures. Like me, a few months back, I jumped off the highest bungee, the second highest bungee of the world. 
So 280 meters, 280 meters above the uh, above the uh, what was that? Above the river, 280 meters above the river. I just jumped off from the bungee, right? So you can experience uh, adventures. No, you can do so. you can do adventurous <laughs> stuffs as well. Uh, there, there, there is a part of Nepal where we provide um, skydiving from the Mount Everest region as well. Uh, it's going to cost you a lot, but yeah, that's what once in a lifetime experience. Uh, so just imagine yourself uh, jumping off the plane, uh, watching the Himalayas and all, right? And uh, there are different parts of Nepal where 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 uh, you can experience the wildlife, and 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 you can go for trekking. You can enjoy the beauty of nature. All right. Uh, but uh, linking all of this, uh, there are different communities of Nepal. We, we Nepalese, we Nepal. Nepal just uh, a few months back, <clears throat> Nepal was uh, one of the countries which was enlisted in least developing countries. And uh, in, in today's month, uh, we have upgraded ourselves to to a developing nation. All right, and and I would like to acknowledge the acknowledge the fact that there are most of the parts in Nepal uh, who uh, which have uh, underdeveloped um, communities, and 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 there are parts of Nepal where uh, it's it's really hard to find the infrastructure. Right? Yes, uh, different parts of Nepal. They are they are not uh, they are uh, a bit backwards in case of infrastructure and other sectors, but. In case of authenticity, in, in in case of culture, in case of um, religion and religion and and everything else, uh, Nepalese people are rich in that. And and uh, as I've said all the we were uh, our attractors, they were in Bushpang and and they they came back with lots of energy. That is that is because they went there, they saw the situation, they saw the beauty in it, and they came back with tons of energy. So 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 the beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder right so if you are thinking about uh, enjoying the views uh, if you're thinking about uh, doing adventurous stuff if you're if you're thinking about uh, doing some a community service uh, then 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 there lies the beauty guys so yeah you are welcome to nepal so whenever you in nepal you can contact me or or anyone from rotrak of kopundol assess patrai rotractor assess patrai is the current president of of uh, rc kopundol uh, you can come here we can contact we can connect and 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 explore more and more thank you so much yeah we also hope that we one day we will come to nepal and see you guys in offline <laughs> so that would be fun i i can uh, i can have a vision uh then uh, after let's move forward to the campaign uh, and uh -huh. i just wanted to ask you like um uh, whenever we do any campaign or projects or program we usually have many things that uh, that uh, we feel like we should uh, modify this or we should uh, like change this uh, this is uh, this is, the, that would be really good for the next uh, pro next uh, season of the program so uh, have you uh, saw any uh, have you uh, got any this kind of modification for this program uh, in this time definitely definitely yes definitely yes so 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 uh, i completely concur on the question that you just highlighted all right so uh, i've always believed in that it's all about setting a benchmark and and moving uh, ahead of it every time so we have to make sure that uh, if, if i'm running at a pace of 40 uh right now 40 kilometer per hour or, or, or something like that uh, if i'm riding my motorbike at, at the speed of 40 kilometer per, per hour uh right now then i have to make sure that i, I will at least be able to ride at 45 kilometer per hour um, with the comfort uh, making sure that all the security or, or all the protections are there, right? So it's all about leveling up, and and I really believe in that. And then talking about Nano Kapra Afyan, the the campaign through which we have spread uh, warm cloths and happiness uh, and spread warmness and all. Uh, uh, in the first year, uh, we faced few challenges, and, and we faced some challenges in case of logistics. We faced uh, some challenges in case of uh, uh in case of uh the uh shorting uh, shorting as well and we came to know that the cuts that we provided uh maybe uh if if certain parts uh if 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 we had a good procedure or or a better process or uh a better number of people better manpower then we could have uh segmented uh or we could have uh uh done the shorting in a, in an efficient way 
so all those all those things in the procedure all the all the things in the uh, uh logistics and 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 uh, those kind of stuff uh we failed a bit backwards and 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 this year uh making sure that uh, we are trying to make sure that we raise enough funds so that we won't have any issue in terms of logistics uh we are trying to make sure that we we uh uh we reach uh to as many people as possible so that it will be not it will be easy for us to to maintain uh the uh efficiency of the uh, shortening process all right so and 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 we're trying to reach out uh, as many people as possible to to enhance the collection as well so uh, there are certain uh, processes in it and process uh, that we follow and we are being being efficient in the earlier year and and uh, this year uh, me coming to retract world with the wuhan this life uh, me coming to to uh, me sharing the screen with Nyonta and the charter president and and all the people and and um, talking to and uh, uh, and interacting or or, or uh, being in front of all the viewers from Dhaka from Bangladesh from Nepal uh, the only reason uh, is to make sure that I I aware I provide an awareness to as many people as possible so we will we will receive as many donation or as many support from as many people as we can so it's all about awareness so uh before this year uh we were lacking in the case of promotion as well but this year we're taking it to a next level and uh in case of logistics in, in case of uh uh in case of uh, shorting the clots and in case of collection of the clots and in case of uh, promoting the event where we're leaving no uh uh no 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 things to uh, no things to hold us back so we're trying to uh get ourselves right where we're checking it we are checking everything and uh we're trying to uh uh level up uh the campaign and uh we're trying to break the benchmark yeah that's it please please unmute yourself <laughs> it, it, I am I am so excited like I, I just forgot to me unmute myself you know so uh, I was talking about like I uh, thank you for sharing and we really hope that uh, you guys uh, reach your benchmark uh, within very short time and I hope I am audible yes you are yes you are okay so great uh so i i uh, moving forward so uh there are uh, lots of comments coming on and some of the comments i i really want to uh, i i really want to read uh one of them is uh, from rotractor tahsin and he said that hey can i know uh, know about your nepali comfort food just a food he passed by <laughs> <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. So, uh, one foodie meets another foodie. So, if you're in Nepal, please try dal batar And apart from that, you, you can try our our uh, dido and all. So, so uh, that's quite our authentic foods. Yeah. And apart from that, uh, we are uh, we are rich with uh, newari cuisines. Uh -huh, newari cuisines. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you can try that as well. And, and, and there are different parts of Nepal who provide us with... Uh, provide local foods you can try that as well so if you are in nepal try nevari cuisine if you are in nepal make sure that you you try thakali foods yeah that's it so okay so uh, after uh, when we reach to nepal we will contact with you and start, uh, start, hey, have the suggestion from you uh, for food at least for food 100 percent. don't you worry guys uh, I own few restaurants in Nepal. You can come here and you can try food. No worries. Great, great. Uh, and we Bangalis, we are really foodie. I, I don't know about Nepali people, but uh, we Bangali, we like uh, we are found of food. You know. I think I'll get a competition now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so after that, I want to read the comment of uh, Arafat Hussein. He is, said that Nepali, uh, Nepal is one of uh, my dream destination for tourism. <laughs> Please, Arafat, uh, spare some time, have a good amount of time, 
and come to Nepal. You are more than welcome. And after that, uh, road director Wasif Tasin, he have also another comment we are from having uh, from <laughs> him, and uh, he said that, oh yes, uh, can you tell me why are Gurkhas so strong? <laughs> now, if I start talking about that, uh, I can just I can just uh, talk for hours and hours about that. But but if if I have to say <laughs> a few things about Gurkhas, uh, let me tell you guys, uh, Gurkhas they have been fearless from day one. All right, the training they were harsh. It was harsh, and it was in their blood to be fearless. And and uh, people, if you are fearless, you are limitless. And uh, Gurkhas approved that. So now uh, people resemble Gurkhas with, with being strong today. So yeah, from day one, uh, they were fearless. And today, they are limitless. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> and another comment from Sakib Ahmed. Uh, he said that we know Nepal is an earthquake uh country. Uh, so what is the natural state? Uh, sorry neutral state, state now. now natural state now yeah thank you for thank natural. you so much for for your concerns sakib uh, you have uh, correctly correctly identified the situation nepal lies in between two uh, two big tectonic plates and and it being a landlocked country it's quite prone to earthquake uh, we, uh, we face uh, minor earthquakes uh, every day i guess and and some of the major earthquakes they hit us uh, quite in few, few few months they visit us in few months yeah they love us so much i don't know uh, we just uh, we just try to break break up with them but yeah they, they just keep coming uh, but yeah uh, apart from earthquake uh, other natural calamities uh, like floods and 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 landslides they also uh, uh, like Nepal is prone to that as well. And uh, talking about Nano Kapada Fian phase two, we're trying to reach Kalikot. That's that's a hill area that's that lies in the hillside. And uh, because of the heavy rainfall uh, a few weeks late back, uh, a lot of landslides went there. And because of the heavy rainfall a few, few uh, weeks back, uh, it led to a lot of flood in different Tarai region as well. So our our country, uh, is prone to a lot of calamities, uh, natural calamities, and and uh, yeah, uh, we cannot do anything about that. But 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 precaution is always uh, better than uh, is is better, right? So uh, we make uh, we make sure that uh, we try to aware as many people as possible uh, when we have the chance. And and if if uh, if uh, people face the natural calamities, then we try to provide them with the support. Uh, the moral support uh, and and everything that we can from uh, from uh, our club. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Okay, so we hope that uh, yeah, uh, every people of your uh, country will be safe from this program uh, from from this uh, sufferings and uh, like uh, maybe God uh, will bless them. And uh, yeah. So uh, moving forward to this um, topic, we can say, uh, I want to say that um, he, uh, he, as you were a road director from Nepal, and uh, so I just want, there is, uh, I can say, um, I want to ask you actually. So there is a thing, and it is, uh, he, uh, would you uh, like to tell us the, uh, road about the road track movement how it is going and how to, uh where what are the pros and cons of road track movement in nepal uh, so that uh we can understand of uh, their uh, statistics and all now that's that's another interesting question you know like wow 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 being a being a rotor actor huh so <clears throat> few years back uh i was a college student and i love to dance and i used to just play basketball when i was in college and and then i met few few retractors and uh, they just came in uh samir yeah we are preparing for a dance would you, would you like to uh we're we are preparing for a flash mob would you please join us uh we are trying to uh, create some uh social awareness for pedestrians all right so i didn't care about what the cause was what the reason was i just went there for dancing like yeah yeah we'll get to dance we'll, we are we were choreographing a flash mob and then let's go let's have fun 
like uh, my retractor uh, my retracting experience started like that but after i went there uh, and then i took part in the flash mob then i i saw uh, many individuals so many youths who were there uh, dancing in that sun uh, in in that uh, in the mid of the day uh, and 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 they were uh, just uh, going there and they were uh, not just dancing they were uh, aware, they were providing awareness to the people over there and 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 at that moment that touched me all right so whatever we do uh, if we associate that with with some social activity or, or or with something that that makes you happy right so it will be priceless so the very first thing about being a rotor actor is that the the platform that it has provided for us individuals for us youths to 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 uh, have uh, to to do social activities you know so uh, that's the very first part that i love about uh, being a rotor actor so it's a great platform rotor act uh, uh, shirt is a great platform where we can do social activity and talking about nepal so nepalese people they are quite concerned about uh, the these kind of social activities like um, uh, like uh, in our club, uh, we uh, we all we have organized Nano Kakabian in community service. Apart from that, we have con conducted dental health camps. Apart from that, uh, we have conducted many professional avenue uh, 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 events like uh, leadership training, professionalism training, right? And uh, all of these things, all of these events uh, that we do in Nepal, uh, those have uh, created some impact. And. Uh, the major impact or, or uh, the major uh, encouragement that uh, the Rotaractives in Nepal associate uh, is about leadership. So, so everybody uh, in Nepal, they are, they are every every youth that joined Rotaract in Nepal, I think they are in, in it to to make sure that they at least uh, learn some skills. And uh, and uh, uh, the major skill in today's world is about leadership, right? And uh, the Nepalis Rotaractives, they they take it. They have taken it to the next level. Like I've seen, I've seen uh, people who were who who, who just uh, had very bad communication skills in the start, but after one or two year uh, in Rotaract, now they are they are great communicators. All right, and 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 me uh, myself, I was I was an introvert person, but now you can see me being very cheerful, communicating with you all. I can I'm I'm leading uh, a campaign. I'm I'm organizing. A few steps, uh, not even not only just in personal life, but in uh, but in my professional life as well. I'm I'm trying to emerge in a, as an entrepreneur. I've started some business ventures, and all the qualities that I've learned through being a rotor actor has uh, encouraged me in that part as well. So uh, the very first thing about uh, uh, rotor acting experience in Nepal is about is that uh, yes, uh, the social activities that we uh, do in Nepal, uh, those are really those are really great and they have created uh, great impacts i can see protractors running doing a lot of activities so that they can provide uh, uh, support to those who have been impacted who have been victims of flood of of landslides of earthquakes and all so the youths they are always ready to provide the support so that's the one as uh, you also know that nepal is prone to different natural calamities right and the youths of nepal the retractors of nepal they have been there day and night working day and night from their club uh, supporting the victims of different natural calamities and i love that about uh, us right that's the number one thing and, and talking about the second thing it's about the skills that we have enhanced and uh, uh being uh, being in a country which is uh which is categorized as the as the developing nation uh getting a platform platform where we can upgrade our skills upgrade our personality is, is a major point right so uh, in nepal major uh, events are being are being organized uh, different business activities are, are being uh, encouraged and uh, leadership trainings are being encouraged uh, so that uh, the youths of nepal uh, the human resource of nepal they will be of quality right so uh, that's 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 the pros of being a rotor actor i guess and I don't think uh, there is any con about being being a retroactor, but 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 sometimes you may feel that you are providing a lot of time, energy, and effort uh, to to whatever you are doing. But guys, never feel that because whatever you will do, associate that with your happiness. And and uh, if you're if you're there with a pure heart and if you're doing something, 
uh, it will come back to you in the form of energy, in the form of blessing, right? So keep it up. Encourage yourself uh, on doing uh, on doing different stuffs. Uh, please, please uh, take that initiative and 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 act on the move. Act. Uh, be a be a visionary person. All right. Be a visionary person. Define your missions. Define what kind of person you want to become. Like imagine yourself after two years, after five years, after ten years. Set some goals and and associate the, those goals with with yourself and and all the platforms that you are in and protract is one of the greatest platform to to enhance your skills right and and there is one part of you who will uh, always need a skilled uh, development uh, will always require an enha enhancement in the skills and retract is that retract is the right platform for that and talking about uh receiving the blessings receiving the love receiving the support uh retract also provides you with that opportunity right so Grab this opportunity. Stay focused and 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 try to provide your uh, time, energy, and effort, and and always focus on becoming a better personality, and always focus on doing something good for the community, and 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 always focus for focus on uh, motivating others, influencing others in a positive way. And guys, you are going to become what you want to become. So so yeah, retract is one of the greatest platform. A retracting experience in Nepal. It has been a great experience, and uh, in in coming years, I'm going to join Rotary, and I'm going to, I'm going to influence more mass. I'm going to build a better network, and uh, and yes, I'm going to evolve myself as a better personality. So, retracting experience in Nepal has been great, and it's, it's going great, and uh, I can see myself as an immersed personality, as a better personality, and that's because of being a part of Rotaract. Thank you so much. Uh, that's really uh, something uh, who it will fascinate uh, fascinate us, uh, even the non rotaractors uh, to come rotary in rotaract. And uh, yeah, another thing I noticed that uh, as we all are uh, in a uh, one umbrella, in under of one umbrella, so most of the things are common. Uh, uh, however, we are from different district, but most of the rotaract things are common here uh, in Bangladesh, even uh, uh, even with Nepal and in Bangladesh, we can have many uh, many common things and many uh, like uh, I, when we when you were uh, saying some uh, some I can say some memories or uh, your joining memories. So we uh, most I can relate myself uh, by it, and even uh, most of our audience, uh, some of them I know, uh, I also can relate their memories of uh, being a road track, uh, being in uh, the road track, the first day of road track, and uh, that's that's really great, and uh, yeah, uh, so. Uh, this uh, the he, he, here we are uh, having uh, the conversation and uh, we uh, we within this frame we can cover many things and we have covered many things and uh, this is like really beautiful this is a really great memory this will be a great memory for me in my afterlife even <laughs> um, and, and I am hoping uh, that you will have uh, this, you will also cherish this memory. And uh, so after uh, this, uh, I, I, I want to uh, let you know that we are here for one hour and eight minutes. <laughs> and uh, like this live is going on. And uh, some of the people who are like uh, watching us continuously, and this is really great to uh, notice because uh, uh, some there are some people who are enjoying our uh, conversation and this this really awesome to know you know and uh, so uh, after as you can see that uh, this is uh, already one hour so i think <laughs> i actually don't want to but i think uh, there we should uh, continue it here and uh, like uh, with some uh, few words from you and uh, about the Nano Kapada Avian and also from uh, Rotractors of Nepal, Rotractors of your club. And like we are, we like want to have a, a conclusion speech from you. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Nianta. Thank you so much uh, to everyone who is there watching us and uh, coming to know that you guys are there connected with us continuously for a few minutes. Thank you so much for, for bothering uh, me uh, and, and, and my talks. So yeah, but, but uh, if I have to be uh, sharing the final words, I really don't want to uh, end this right now. I, I really want to talk for uh, another hour, I guess, but, 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 uh, time is a limit and we have to respect that. And time is, uh, <laughs> so I can see that people are, uh, sharing the comments. So thank you so much. Uh, I, I adore that. I adore that. I, I thank to God that I got an opportunity to, to connect with, uh, Rotaract Club of Taka Dynamics. I really want to thank my brother, Rotaractor Aryan uh, Atakur, who is the ISC of Rotaract Club of Kabundol, for, for uh, uh, connecting me with the uh, Rotaract, uh, Rotaractors from uh, RSC uh, Dhaka, Bangladesh, uh, Dhaka Dynamics. And so if I have to say that, I really don't want to uh, leave right now, but but uh when uh, we are talking about even, uh, even i don't want to close the show <laughs> but uh <laughs> this is really one hour and uh you know in bangladesh it is almost uh 8 30 uh 8 30 uh -huh. plus so so uh people are uh, waiting for us to end the show and uh, they want to go for dinner you know <laughs> so we, exactly, need to, we exactly. should not make them suffer exactly i don't want anyone to suffer uh it's 8 20, 20, 8 22 in uh nepal as well and uh, the fact that i got to connect with you guys i got to share my experience it ha it will be uh, in my heart and in my mind every time that from from today because it has been a great experience to to connect with neonta to connect with ruhan to connect with uh the comment to connect with everyone for the comments and 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 all and i'm definitely going to watch the uh, live show again and and review all the uh comments from our viewers so uh getting to know you guys and and share uh, share my experience uh, i think i would like to uh conclude uh today's um, live show by saying that uh uh if you are a person who is aspiring to become a leader to interact. If you are a person who really admire networking, be an active member of Rotaract. If you are that kind of person who wants to cherish the moments and who wants to do something for the community, be an active Rotaract member. So, Cherish the platform, be there for everyone, build yourself a better personality, do something good for the community, and yes, be a proud Rotaract. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the platform, uh, Rotaractor Nyonta. I would like to thank everyone in Bangladesh, uh, and I would like to appreciate, I really appreciate our viewers Thank you so much for connecting with us. And um, I'm definitely looking forward to connecting you with you guys. You can just search. Uh, we can just connect through social media. We can talk about our our cultures, our, about other stuff as well. And uh, time is a limit. Uh, I would like to end it right now and pass the floor to Nionta. And before doing so, I, I'm uh, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much from the uh, from. Uh, Rotaract Club of Kopondol, I would like to thank you one, thank you all. And from Rotra from Nepal, Namaskar. Uh, thank you so much for your kind words and inspiring words, I, I must say. And uh, with your words, I hope the non rotaractors are from all around the world who will see this program will really, really inspired. Uh, uh, for for doing Rotaract or uh, joining Rotary. So, uh, yeah. So Nionta, thank you can, so can I take a minute? Can I take a minute? Yeah, sure, sure, so sure. Obviously. I have, I, have, I have highlighted that Rotaract is, is a platform where you can build leadership, where you can enhance your personality, right? But, but the major part is if you are a social activist, this is the right platform for you. 
And what you can do is you can start that. Uh, I would like to make a request to every viewer. If there is any way possible that you can support our campaign, please do it. Uh, if 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 uh, uh, you get all you can do is if you cannot uh, send us the funds or if you cannot uh, send us the bots or something like that, but all you, you can support us by promoting our event. So so that that might be one support. So if there is anyone who is willing to uh, donate some funds, uh, we welcome that as well. And if you are there to support us in fundraising activities and donation activities, we would really appreciate that. And and believe me, guys, the people from uh, Nepal, they would really send you blessings. And and we would provide you with uh, a lot of appreciation from our track of Kapondo as well. So I would like to end with that. Uh, thank you. And I, I really, I do believe that uh, after this program, after, uh, uh, after knowing your uh, your project, your campaign, uh, every person will support you from their heart. Even if even if they can't support you by uh, for promotion, they will uh, send you blessings, at least blessings, because uh, this is a really uh, heart touching program, heart touching campaign i must say and uh yeah the best of luck for the campaign and i i along with my club uh, uh all we all are wishing you the best of luck and we will like uh we will uh all the best wishes from us will uh for you for this program you know uh, so uh, best wishes and uh, uh, yeah with this i should conclude this program because it's already one point one hour and 60 minutes 16 minutes and thank you everyone each and everyone who were there for us and i can say uh, i can i can see some of uh, some of the people who are uh, still active uh, viewers for this uh, pro of this program and thank you so much for you guys and uh, also who have reacted who have commented and uh, every, for each and everyone and also for for the technical team uh there's there we will uh like we will send uh, lots of good wishes to you guys and uh after everything i uh, want to thank you road tractor samir adhikari for uh coming us here and i must say i must confess that uh today we had some difficulties uh before the program in the backstage uh so i i am really uh, sorry for that and uh i hope that in further days when we will get connected this won't happen and i will try my best and our team will try their best and i hope that uh, you guys will have the, all the comfort from our side uh, for you guys and uh, moving forward to conclude this program and with this i i want to uh, like i want to say that uh, samir uh, thank you so much and you i i don't want to like uh, i uh, i don't want to uh, i can say uh, uh, uh bother you more uh, for more time uh you can do uh, you can do uh, your work now because you were here uh more uh, i can uh, if i count uh, uh, we, uh from the backstage time you were here uh almost two hours uh with us and we are chatting and that was really fun and it was a really good fellowship but uh, i i don't want to give you more suffering you know so uh, here is the ending and uh, best of luck for your for the days and thank you and bye bye <laughs> Bye bye. I would I wouldn't consider it as a suffering, but uh, yeah. So it was quite quite uh, fun to be connected with you, and I've earned um, so it's, yeah. Forever. I've I've earned one uh, beautiful soul from this day. Thank you so much for today, Anyanta, and all the best for the next episodes. And uh, yeah, all the best. Keep it up. Thank Keep you. up the hard work. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. 
And with this, uh, we are uh, on the conclusion of our live show. And thank you so much for everyone for connecting with us uh, for uh, this uh, one hour and 19 minutes. It's almost uh, half of one hour. Uh, so uh, today we are like uh, ending up with here. And uh, this is, uh, I'm saying my uh, introduction again. Uh, this is Road Director Nyonta Mazabin, Charter President, Rotary Club of Dhaka Dynamic uh, signing off and your Ernest Solem hearing will be our inspiration and uh, I want to uh, request all of you guys uh, to uh, to send at least uh, the blessings to Nano Kapata Avian as this is a great uh, campaign you know uh, and also uh, keep us in your blessings, uh, keep us in your good wishes and uh, see you in the next episode. And I hope there will be Rohan in the next episode, not me. Uh, so uh, see you there uh, from the backstage. I will, I will uh, see you all, guys. And uh, so with this, I'm signing off. Uh, good night, bye-bye, and stay blessed. Thank you.